another video. Now, today, I'm going to be trying some of these supplements I got from Bulk Powders that I opened in my last video. If you want to go back and watch that, feel free. I'll wait for you here. And now you're up to speed. Uh, today, I'm going to be trying Elevate Zero and Endure, which I've got just off camera out here somewhere. Um, I'm going to upload these as two separate videos because I think it might get a bit too information heavy if I upload them at once. But what I'm going to do with both of these supplements is I'm going to give you my first impressions of the product. Then I'm going to use them for a few workouts and I'm going to come back, I'm going to fill it in a few days just to give kind of my uh, lasting impressions. I don't think you can, with a good pre-workout, a good intra workout, you can't judge them off of one workout. There's so many variables that can change in between days. Without further ado, let's tuck in. So I've got the Elevate Zero in pineapple and grapefruit flavour. I tried this quite a few years ago now and it was just like lilt in terms of flavour. And I seem to remember how the both of the and they out very well, but we'll have to see if they've done anything with the formula in that time. Unnecessarily long handle for a scoop in my opinion. It smells delicious. I can hear that sort of taste just as good as I remember it. It's mixed really well, so that is completely smooth. But if now any better, I would have thought that was a squash, not uh, <laughs> something I've just mixed up from a powder. But yeah, first impressions, I'm very impressed by that. We'll see how it performs during the workout, shall we? Hello, uh, welcome back. Uh, as promised, I'm finally ready to give you my thoughts on Bulk's Elevate Zero pre-workout. Now, I've been using this for a few weeks uh, for quite a different variety of workouts. I've felt in various levels of motivation and energy throughout those. So I've got a very good view of what it does for me personally now. It might be different for everyone, so don't take my word as gospel. First and foremost, taste and mixability. Um, I have to give that a 10 out of 10, to be honest. It mixes completely smooth, and as I mentioned in the beginning part of the video, which now bloody weeks ago, it tastes exactly like Lilt, so really nice. There's a little bit of a kind of thing at the back of your mouth when you do drink it, but it's still very, very nice tasting pre-workout. So I would say this is quite a strong pre-workout. It doesn't have a huge amount of beta alanine, like a lot of stronger pre-workouts. This one comes in at uh, three and a half grams. So you don't get that real itchy, you want to tear the skin off your face feeling. I do quite like that, some people might not. But uh, just because you don't have it, it doesn't. it's no detriment to this pre-workout. The other ingredients more than make up for the lack of that in terms of making you feel energised. Uh, it's also not overly reliant on caffeine. Again, it only comes in at 200 milligrams, a lot stronger pre-workouts. You're looking 3, 350, maybe even above that. Uh, so what's quite nice is you don't get a crash afterwards, which is very important for me, because like, as I mentioned in the previous video, I work out first thing in the morning, I have to go straight back to work. If I'm falling asleep at my desk, that's not good. In terms of the ingredient panel, uh, usual suspects are here and in very good dosages. As I mentioned, obviously 200 milligrams of caffeine and three and a half grams of beta alanine. You've also got four grams of AAKG, five grams of citrulline malate, which is more than you'd see in a lot of pre-workouts, uh, two and a half grams of taurine. We've also got a few ingredients I've not seen on a pre-workout before, so I had to do a bit of research. First of these ingredients I have to do a bit of research on is something called actinos. Now I'll try and keep this as succinct as I can. Now actinos is a nitric oxide synthase activating peptide derived from whey. Hell of a mouthful that one. So nitric oxide synthase is used by the body to convert arginine, which is the uh, main component of AAKG, into nitric oxide. Now this in turn improves the blood flow around the body. More blood flow around the body means more oxygen and uh, nutrients get into the muscles. So in a pre-workout, this is a big, big benefit. The uh, improved blood flow will lead you to a better pump. Who doesn't want that? Greater oxygen availability will give you a better strength output and also delays the onset of lactic acid buildup, so it'll leave you last a bit longer. Improved transportation of nutrients just means better muscle growth and repair post-workout. So all in all, pretty fantastic ingredient, and I'm personally not aware of any other pre-workouts in the UK that have this ingredient. Second ingredient for me that really stands out, and it's again because I haven't seen it in many of the pre-workouts I've used before, I think my protein to the pre-workout is the only other one off the top of my head where I have seen this, is bioperine. Now, all this is is the commercial name for black pepper extract, and it's used in a pre-workout, it's quite interesting. So bioperine is probably an antioxidant, but it also improves the bioavailability of other ingredients that it's mixed with. So by having this in a pre-workout, it allows your body to make a more effective use of the other in ingredients in this very well-stacked panel. 
final ingredient I want to take a bit more of a look at and stay with me on this one is glucoronolactone, another big mouthful. Now again, it's something I wasn't very aware of, but it's present in most energy drinks. The primary benefit of this during exercise is it inhibits the synthesis of toxic byproducts, so for example, lactic acid buildup, and it also uh, helps to reduce fatigue. A number of studies have also shown it may improve aerobic and anaerobic performance, and when using conjunction with weight training, lead to a greater uptake in uh, lean muscle gains. So I'm a little stuck about whether or not I'd recommend this, if I'm honest predominantly due to the price. It's £40 for this 20 serving pouch, so £2 a serving, uh, and that's definitely at the upper end of what you'd be expecting to pay for a pre-work. However, you do absolutely get what you pay for. This is a premium price for a premium product. There's, there's a number of really good pre-workouts on the market that you can scoop up, if you'll pardon the pun, uh, for a lower price, but they won't have some of the ingredients I've mentioned here in the things like, for example, the citrulline malate will uh, be on a lower dosage. Now, you won't miss these ingredients hugely. They're more nice to have, but they are nice to have if you can have them. <laughs> uh, so in conclusion, I definitely recommend this product if you can justify it within your budget. Personally, I think I'd only be looking for it if it was on sale again. If you're looking for a very strong pre-workout and you want to spend a little bit less, I would recommend either the pre-workout by My Protein or Abe by Applied Nutrition, both UK-based companies, so completely transparent panels. You're not going to have anything in there that you're not going to want. Both of these come in at around £20, I think, for 30 serving tubs. I know that the pre-workout is, I'm not sure about Abe. Uh, My Protein in particular generally have really good discounts on, so you'll be probably spending a little bit less on that. That's it for my review of Elevate Zero. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you've tried this pre-workout, let me know in the comments what your experience were. Let me know if you like this video and you want to see more like this. I've tried quite a broad range of pre-workouts. I've got about four or five on the go at the moment, so I've got a very good back catalogue to uh, dip into should I need to. Uh, hit the subscribe button to see when the next one comes up. I've also got a review box in Jaw soon, and I've got like a few more pre-workouts that I definitely want to give a bash. And I'll see you next time. Peace.